in question 5 we have to solve this equation which kind of seems a little bit complicated the LHS terms are 3t minus 2 by 4 minus 2t plus 3 by 3 and on the RHS we have 2 by 3 minus t so this is the equation we have to solve it has fractional terms and as a first step we can simplify this equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by some suitable multiplier so that the fractional terms are no longer fractional and we have integer coefficients so how can we do that well we have this 4 and this 3 on the LHS denominators and we have this 3 on the RHS um, as a denominator on the RHS the LCM of these three numbers of 4 3 and 3 the LCM is 12 so what we can do is we can first multiply both sides of the equation by 12 so let's do that let's multiply both sides of this equation by 12 because that will give us integer coefficients instead of these fractional terms all right so the original LHS is 3 T minus 2 by 4 minus 2 T plus 3 by 3 and the original RHS is 2 by 3 minus T and what we are doing is basically multiplying both of these sides by 12 so 12 into LHS and 12 into the RHS all right now what do we have we have 12 times this term so 12 by 4 is 3 so we will get 3 times 3t minus 2 and then we have 12 into minus 2t plus 3 by 3 now 12 by 3 is 4 so we will get minus 4 times 2t plus 3 and on the RHS we have 12 into 2 by 3 that will be 8 and we have 12 into minus t that will be minus 12 t so now you can see that the equation has been converted into a slightly different equation where all the coefficients are integers now let's expand the products that we have so we have 3 into 3t that's 90 minus 3 into 2 so that's minus 6 and then we have minus 4 into 2t so minus 8t and minus 4 into 3 that's minus 12 and on the RHS we have 8 minus 12t okay now on the LHS we have 9t minus 8t that is equal to t and we also have minus 6 minus 12 that is equal to minus 18 and on the RHS we have 8 minus 12t okay so this is the equation that we have now let's combine the variable terms t and minus 12t for this purpose let's take this minus 12t term and transpose it to, to the left hand side so we will get t minus 18 and the transposed term will be plus 12t and then on the right hand side we will have just 8 now t plus 12t is 13t so we will have 13t minus 18 is equal to 8 and now the next step should be to take this minus 18 and transpose it to the right hand side so this time we will get 13t is equal to 8 plus 18 the transpose term minus 18 will become plus 18 on the RHS so we will get 13 T is equal to 8, 8 plus 18 or 26 and finally we just need to multiply both sides by 13 to get rid of this 13 uh, the coefficient of T and this will give us T is equal to 26 divided by 13 26 divided by 13 is 2 so we will get the solution as T equal to so if you want you can verify by plugging in the value of t equal to 2 into this original equation you can see that both the LHS and the RHS will be equal so the answer to this equation of this equation the solution is t is equal to 2 and that completes question number 5 to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.